Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it's gonna be more of a May garden tour, but really I wanna give you some updates on some of these roses, my personal struggles and experience in growing them in my zone this time. I am at Pacific Northwest Zone 8A, for those of you who doesn't know yet, where summers are mild, short growing seasons, lots of raining and so black spot is a common problem in growing them here not this time though we hit the warmest may record here at pacific northwest and i wasn't ready so as my roses so in the beginning of spring i expect aphids i control them by not doing much but relying on ecological balance like beneficial bugs I don't spray, so I see lady bugs, white flies, wasps, birds, they all snack on aphids, which is a great thing. And I help them by squeezing the tiny green buggers, but mindful to have some leftovers for the next generation white flies larva needed to control thrips. You heard me, yes, you need aphids to control thrips in the summer. Problem is, my spring suddenly left and we have this onset of hot weather. So I was in war with thrips all of a sudden. I had some new growth and buds damage. It bothered me. I read about cinnamon, how even a tiny ingestion kills thrips. So I did use it and it seemed to work. I also have noticed some bull nosing in few of my rose buds at yes. when weather temperature fluctuates more drastically like hot and cold where it causes the top bud look distorted almost looking like it got eaten by some bugs then the middle seem to have an eye button you know there's a leafing a bit which indicates uh, you know proliferation proliferation is when the flower bud starts to grow one or more buds in or around an already open bloom before it has finished forming the flower it can be caused by uv damage to the dna of the flower it is similar to blind shoot where a cane does not give a bloom but that is a completely different topic that maybe we can discuss next time so yeah this Evelyn here is actually doing that uh, I will show you some bud in here that is proliferating and which is actually beautiful in a way I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe to my channel it is free for you and it means so much to me Thank you, and here is a quick glimpse of the rest of my roses where tons of buds are coming up. Have a great day.